Well, you know, um, AFC Central has been ruled by the Steelers and the Ravens. Yeah, I hadn't noticed For that. a while. Yeah. yeah, Browns fans might know that, you know. Uh, it's been a, an interesting beginning to free agency as uh, both those teams suffering some pretty significant losses and key losses for the Steelers. I know Le'Veon Bell didn't play last year, but they still <laughs> don't have him. Yeah. So Brown, Le'Veon Bell, and Jesse James, that's – those are three really productive points and parts of that offense. And Ben Roethlisberger is not getting any younger. No, there are there are a couple of things, though, that I would say in the Steelers about the Steelers as a way of saying I'm not ready to like say they're not going to be uh, contending for the division title because because the Browns now have the best roster. One is that they've done a great job of finding wide receivers in the draft mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, Smith Schuster is a really good player who I think oh, yeah. who I think can elevate his game a little bit. And James Conner showed that he can be a pretty productive running back in place of Le'Veon Bell. I think the team that really has has taken a big big hit is the Baltimore Ravens. Funny you should mention that. Let's take a look at what they've lost in the first couple of. First of all, they lose Ozzie Newsom as the GM, and we'll see if DaCosta, the guy who mm -hmm. worked under Ozzie, is ready to replace him. C.J. Mosley signed with the Jets. Eric Weddle with the Rams. Terrell Suggs with the Cardinals. And Zadarius Smith with the Pack. That's the beginning of a pretty good defense if you sign all those guys that the Ravens just lost. And, oh, by the way, they have a quarterback who really hasn't shown that he can throw the ball consistently. Yeah, I mean, that offense is an offense that's going to be run heavy, at least the way it's constructed right now. And you can only have a run-heavy offense in the NFL if you have a real good defense <laughs> right. to keep games, you know, in that range where you can still win them. Um, I think that's going to be a real interesting uh, thing to watch. I also say that Lamar Jackson was very impressive last year. Even though he doesn't throw the ball great, I think we can we can see where he could get better at that. He's not going to he's not going to be Baker Mayfield mm -hmm. accuracy wise. No way. The, the but one, he's a dynamic player. The one thing I would say is. When you see him a second time, like the Chargers did mm -hmm. in that playoff game, mm -hmm. there were some things that they did that he just didn't have, flat out didn't have the answer. Yes, to. and we've only seen him running like this for a right. year, one year in the NFL. And we were all saying the same thing about Kaepernick right. and RG3 at the end of their first years that they mm -hmm. had revolutionized the game and that they were going to be these dynamic players and they couldn't stand up to the beating. Right. I, I, I mean, they're big, fast, and strong, and yeah. they want to hit the guy that's playing quarterback. So if if you allow them to hit you, you're not going to last a whole I've lot I've heard longer. the explanation coming from Baltimore people that, that, that Lamar Jackson runs in a different way than a <laughs> quarterback scrambling for his life runs. He, he's running with his head on a swivel and probably running into tackles. The, the guy who's trying just trying to escape pressure. Whereas a lot of the runs that Lamar Jackson has are designed runs. He can look to get down. He can look to get out of bounds. But you can't do that. No. Snap after snap after snap. No. You're still going to have to pay the piper at some point. You, you got to remember it. Those, the defensive linemen and linebackers run and are at as every bit as athletic as Lamar Jackson, and they weigh about 30, 40, 50 pounds more. Well, I would say he's a really great athlete. He is. So maybe they're not quite, but they're going to catch him anyway. Mm hmm. Uh, and you're right, the, the defenders in this league now are as athletic and fast as 95% of the guys playing running back and receiver and, and quarterback in this league. And I'm by no means crowning the Browns mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. champions of the AFC North. It's just very interesting to see how the, the guys that have been consistent playoff, I mean, there hasn't been an off season where either one of these franchises – in recent memory, has gone through the dramatic shift. And, and with the Ravens, their GM's on the hot seat. I mean, he he allowed some guys to go that he might have had to because of cap, but but those are really good players that he allowed to leave. Yeah, you could probably look at the Suggs one and say letting him go was more of a sentimental loss than, than a real big uh, on-field loss at this point in his career just because he's, he's had so many years in the league. But certainly Mosley and Weddle are big, big losses for this team, and and not only on the field but in the locker room in like Weddle's case. So it's it's going to be hard. And you know we've sat here and talked about this division now for the last couple minutes, and uh, neither one of us have mentioned the uh, what's that 
the, the, the other team? The, oh, yeah. The, the Hughes? Bengals. The Cincinnati Hughes? Maybe there was good reason for that. <laughs> yeah, they look like they're about ready to become the Browns of, yeah. of the division uh, for the next four or five years. I yeah. mean, I just don't see how they're going to – unless they – they draft a quarterback who transforms them in in similar way to what Mayfield meant to this this group. Um, it's hard to imagine that that they're going to pick themselves up out of this and, and be competitive anytime soon. And a new head coach who hasn't been a head coach and yeah. th- there's uh, Browns fans can. Well, uh, sim- the Browns have one of those too, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, but at least he was with the organization <laughs> he was. He was. and and uh, you know it's a consistent. It voice is. in the ear of your yes. quote unquote franchise quarterback. So yes. there is that, but there but you that. are correct. I will I will give you that. <laughs>